NASA's Juno spacecraft has captured unprecedented images and data from Io, one of Jupiter's moons known for its dramatic volcanic activity. These findings are revealing new details about both Io and Jupiter itself. Juno's close approaches to Io have allowed it to photograph extensive lava lakes and towering mountains, showcasing the moon's intense geological dynamics. Simultaneously, Juno's investigations into Jupiter's atmosphere have identified surprising levels of water abundance at the planet's equator. These discoveries are crucial, as they not only challenge our previous understanding, but also enhance our knowledge of the solar system's formation, offering insights into the geological and atmospheric processes that occur far beyond Earth. As NASA's Juno spacecraft zips around Jupiter, it's providing us with breathtaking views and invaluable data from Io, Jupiter's most geologically active moon. During its recent flybys, Juno came incredibly close, within about 1,500 kilometers, to Io's surface, allowing it to capture detailed imagery of volcanic features that are reshaping our understanding of geological activity beyond Earth. Io's surface is scarred by hundreds of volcanoes, some of which are actively spewing sulfurous plumes kilometers into space, a direct result of the intense tidal heating caused by its gravitational interplay with Jupiter and other Galilean moons. This heating triggers frequent and violent volcanic eruptions that make Io an astronomical body of extreme scientific interest. For example, Loki Patera, a volcanic depression that's often described as a lava lake, was observed in unprecedented detail. Juno's instruments captured what appears to be molten rock covering an expanse roughly 200 kilometers in length, containing fluctuating islands of solidified materials, providing a dynamic landscape reminiscent of a fiery cauldron. These observations are critical because they offer direct evidence of the powerful gravitational interactions at play. Io completes two orbits of Jupiter for every orbit of Europa and four for every orbit of Ganymede. This creates a continuous tug of war on Io's interior, stretching and squeezing it, thus generating enough heat to maintain its molten interior. This process, known as tidal heating, is not only a spectacle of nature, but also a crucial piece of the puzzle in understanding similar processes that may occur on exoplanets in other solar systems. Furthermore, Juno's detailed surveillance of Io's volcanic activity helps scientists understand the Moon's surface composition and evolution. By analyzing the emitted gases and volcanic ejecta, researchers can infer the composition of Io's subsurface layers. Juno's revelations extend beyond Io, reaching into the gaseous envelopes of Jupiter itself. One of Juno's primary science objectives is to determine the water abundance in Jupiter's atmosphere. This task, challenging yet crucial, involves deciphering the signatures of hydrogen and oxygen, the fundamental components of water, amidst the complex atmospheric dynamics of the largest planet in our solar system. Recent measurements by Juno's microwave radiometer, MWR, have provided new insights revealing that the water content near Jupiter's equator is significantly higher than what was previously thought. The findings indicate that water abundance is approximately three to four times the solar abundance when compared to hydrogen. Understanding the distribution of water in Jupiter's atmosphere is not just a matter of fulfilling a scientific curiosity, but a crucial element in piecing together the narrative of our solar system's formation. Water plays a key role in the meteorological and structural dynamics of planetary bodies. For Jupiter, with its massive size and strong magnetic fields, the distribution of water affects atmospheric dynamics significantly, influencing weather patterns and potentially impacting the formation and stability of its numerous moons. Moreover, these insights into Jupiter's water abundance are essential for models that attempt to simulate the formation of planetary systems. They provide a benchmark for the amount of volatile compounds, such as water, that can exist within a gas giant's atmosphere. This, in turn, has implications for theories about the formation of other planetary bodies 
and the development of habitable zones around stars. NASA's Juno spacecraft has provided groundbreaking data from its close encounters with Io, one of Jupiter's most volcanic moons. Recent flybys have captured detailed images and measurements, unveiling Io's dramatic geological features, including extensive lava lakes and towering mountains, such as the 200-kilometer-long Loki Patera. These observations indicate a significant water abundance at Jupiter's equator, much higher than previous estimates and about three to four times the solar abundance relative to hydrogen. The data Juno collects doesn't just rewrite our understanding of Jupiter and Io. It provides a gateway to theorizing about planetary formation across the cosmos. The variations in water abundance and geological activity observed by Juno support the hypothesis that Jupiter was likely the first planet to form around our young Sun, capturing most of the gas and dust that was not incorporated into the star itself. This primordial position of Jupiter in the solar system makes it a kind of cosmic reservoir, holding within its vast atmosphere the secrets to the materials and processes that characterize the early solar system. By studying Jupiter's atmospheric composition, particularly its deep internal structure revealed through Juno's sensors, scientists can infer the conditions that might have been prevalent when and where other planets formed. The role of water ice in enriching Jupiter with heavy elements is particularly intriguing. This process, known as heavy element enrichment, involves materials heavier than hydrogen and helium being incorporated into a planet during its formation. Understanding how water contributed to this process on Jupiter could illuminate similar processes on other, possibly habitable, worlds. These insights have profound implications, extending beyond our solar system. They provide a model that helps astronomers hypothesize about the formation of distant exoplanetary systems, particularly those around gas giant exoplanets. By comparing our detailed observations of Jupiter with data from exoplanets, we can begin to understand how common or unique our own planetary system is. These comparative studies deepen our understanding of the universe's architectural variety and the fundamental processes that govern planet formation and evolution, making every discovery by Juno a building block for a grander view of the cosmos. Thank you for joining me on this fascinating journey across space to Jupiter and its enigmatic moon, Io. Juno's mission continues to unravel the mysteries of our solar system, providing data that challenges old views and opens new paths for exploration. Stay curious, keep exploring, and who knows what other secrets we might uncover in the vast ocean of stars. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more updates as we continue to unlock the mysteries of the universe together.